Okay, so the way we do this search bar is come back over to the right header area and thesis defaults and say let's add a search bar in this header area. Once we do that we get a search bar settings and this gives us a choice of whether it should be placed at the top of the header or at the bottom. We're going to leave it at the top and I already know we want a little bit of margin so let's give ourselves a 20 pixel margin from the top but otherwise let's leave it alone. We'll hit save. You can see what happens here. Okay, so it's given us a 20 pixel margin and it is placed it on the far left hand side. It's also moved the menu down, you can see, and the reason why it moved the menu down was because we both have the the width of the top margin here plus the width of the search bar. This used to be just pressing up against the top, but now that we've added this this to it, it's no longer just pressing up against the top. And it looks like we need to take about 40 pixels out of the margin for this. So if we come back over to our menu settings and instead of 80 we say 40. And then instead of text alignment left, we take text alignment right. And refresh this. Now the search bar has gone off to the right hand side. And this has popped back up. Actually, it looks like it's a little, still a little low. Maybe we want to bring it up to 35 pixels. Let's just see what, ha what happens if I pull this all the way up to... Yeah, see, so that might even be... Yeah, it might, it's might even be closer to 10 pixels. So under menu settings, now we make it just 30 pixels of top margin. Hit save. Refresh it. Yeah, okay, that was a little too much, but. Like 34. Yeah, there we go. And if we want to, well, actually, I kind of like the way that lines up like that. So we can just leave it like this. However, there are a few additional styles that you can add to the search bar. Now, you can move it around by using these margins. So obviously, we gave it 20 pixels of top margin to move it off the top. You can also change the font size if you want the font to be larger say let's make it 14 pixels and you can also change the padding and the width so at 14 pixels actually it just that was just a little bit taller than it was originally if you made the the text larger it can be the case that you know that this this gets cut off by the size of the of the search bar which is why I gave you the ability to specify a specific width it also gives you a chance to make it smaller if you want or whatever but anyway you can specify margin around it you can specify the style of the font you can specify the padding that is inside of the search bar that goes around the text and you can specify the width of this and if you don't specify anything it just defaults to the standard Okay, so now we've got a search bar, a logo, and our navigation menu all showing up in the header.